Hi guys, I'm Neman and this is Rexy. We ride a Royal Enfield Bullet 500. And we travel to work together. Uh, I look at sales and she takes care of people here, looks after their happiness, all that. So take us through your motorcycle. Yeah, so I'm riding a, a Bullet 500. Uh, I got this in 2016, November. I remember it because this is my first motorcycle. And then I rode it around for two years in... I'm from Cochin, so I rode it around in Cochin for two years. And then I took it to Delhi, where I'm working now. So yeah, this is what I do. And in terms of customization, I've just put in the grips and I had a few accessories. Uh, because I work with Trip Machine, uh, we always test a lot of stuff on my motorcycle. So that's how I accessorize always for free. So that is very nice. What does the Royal Enfield mean to a Keralite? Yeah, so I've heard that a lot. Uh, for me, it's just a, it's a motorcycle that I love to ride. So when I go on the highways at 70s, 80s, it gives me a good feel. That is what Royal Enfield is. Other than that, obviously a lot of pop culture details have come into Royal Enfield where a movie came out. That's why the whole popularity of the bike went up. I've heard the bike sells out every month, all that. For me, it's just a bike that you know feels very good to ride. How long has Rexy been riding the Enfield? Rexy, I think she's been riding for now three years, almost three, two and a half years, if I'm not wrong. Yeah, she's been with me. Uh, you know, she sits behind. I also carry a pillion, so three people ride. That's how we come to work. Tell me about Rexy. So Rexy is uh, actually. So we got her from a friend of mine, Kabir, who also works here apparently. Uh, so he took her in, uh, but two months later, COVID hit. So he was a bit stuck with you know, uh, taking care of Rexy, he gave her to me and then ever since she's been with us, me, Sid, everybody right there. That's all. Rexy jump! Ah, yeah, she jumps man. If you could have one motorcycle for the rest of your life, which one will it be? That's a very diff difficult question because, because I work here and I, you know, get to see a lot of motorcycles and also ride them. It's very difficult but, you know, I would always like to get a bobber. Uh, I don't know which one at the moment, obviously the Triumph Bobber looks very cool. Uh, yeah, that's, so that is something that I want to, but again, I can't decide on a motorcycle, if I'm being very honest. I would like to get a few, <laughs> like everybody. Tell me your most memorable ride on a motorcycle. Yeah, oh no. Wait, one, one second guys, I don't have a ride. <laughs> Can I make up a ride? <laughs> No, like, uh, so the ride is like, I, I've not done any long rides uh, for some reason, I don't know, work or life happens where I don't, I've not done a lot of long rides, but I do ride with friends a lot, you know, I keep meeting people, new friends, so even work-wise, we ride together sometimes, the whole group, so we, we do very small rides, maybe 50 kilometers, 100 kilometers, but that also, I think, are very good rides. How did you get into motorcycling? So motorcycling, uh, yeah, so at my home also, my dad had motorcycles. So I was exposed to motorcycles and obviously, you know, movies and shows, TV. Uh, and then all my neighborhood people also had a lot of motorcycles. So I saw that and eventually when I grew up or when I was like say 14, 15, I always wanted to get a Royal Enfield because Harley and all was not a thing then. It was always Royal Enfield, Royal Enfield. So I was like, I need to get a Royal Enfield. And once I saved up a bit and took a lot of money from my dad, I ended up buying one. Uh, yeah, that's how I got into motorcycling, I guess. What's your view on the new Royal Enfield engine? Yeah, so the new engine, I'm... Okay, so the new engine is the 350cc engine. Uh, I've ridden the Meteor 350, which was very smooth and, you know, it does not feel like I'm riding a, like a classic uh, Royal Enfield bullet, but it is very good. It's very refined and smooth, a modern motorcycle. So, it's something different, but very good.